While the Jamestown and Virginia colonies were growing southward, the New England colony was established. The Plymouth colony was established in 1620 and the Massachusetts Bay Colony in 1630, from which more New England colonies splintered. The first record of Native American enslavement appears after the Piqua War, when many of the defeated Native Americans were sold to plantations in the West Indies. The Massachusetts Bay Colony passed its first slavery laws in 1641, defining sanctioned slavery as that of prisoners of war, convicted of crimes, enslaved as punishment or aliens to society, already enslaved by others who had been sold in the New England colonies. Although the New England and Middle colonies were not typically associated with slavery, they all maintained slaves to varying degrees. By 1703, New York City's slave population was approximately 42% of the total population, and there was a slave market running on the bank of the East River on Wall Street. New York City also passed the first laws specifying the death penalty for slaves who rebelled against their masters. As for the Pennsylvania colony, which was the only English colony that denounced slavery, it practiced slavery nonetheless. An anti-slavery petition drawn up by the Quakers in 1688 and presented to the colonial government was ignored until the mid-19th century. Massachusetts Bay took the lead in exploiting the slave trade, first by shipping salted fish to plantations in the West Indies to feed their slaves and then importing Africans as slaves from elsewhere to sell in New England slave markets. This practice was legal as these people were already enslaved by other people and were only being purchased by New England colonists. But this behavior ignores the fact that the markets created by the colonies encouraged the enslavement and transportation of more and more Africans in what is known as the triangular trade.